स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय In a significant development in the ongoing Israel-Hamas war, the terrorist group is contemplating a new proposal put forward by Egypt, suggesting the release of up to 33 Israeli hostages in the exchange for a temporary ceasefire in Gaza. At the same time, United States Secretary of State Anthony Blinken called upon Hamas on Monday to promptly embrace Israel's latest proposal for a Gaza ceasefire, describing it as remarkably generous. Blinken emphasized the urgency of accepting the offer to facilitate the release of hostages amidst the ongoing diplomatic efforts to end the Israel-Hamas conflict. Meanwhile, top Hamas commanders have signaled their consideration of the ceasefire as the Palestinian terror group reportedly had no major issues with the most recent truce plan. Subsequently, Egyptian Foreign Minister Sameh Shoukri said, "Hopefully, the proposal has been taken into account, and we are waiting to have a final decision." While the objective of the proposal on the table is bringing an immediate ceasefire and dealing with the humanitarian conditions, the proposal, partially shaped by Israel's involvement, is delineated in two phases. The initial phase involves releasing 20 to 33 hostages gradually over a span of weeks in return for a temporary ceasefire and the liberation of Palestinian detainees. The subsequent phase aims to establish long-term peace, wherein the remaining hostages hostages including israeli soldiers and the deceased would be exchanged for additional palestinian prisoners as per reports hamas representatives convened with qatari and egyptian intermediaries in cairo on monday to provide feedback on israel's phased truce proposal which was presented over the weekend this meeting reportedly took place amidst the looming threat of an israeli offensive on the border city of rafa Notably, there has been growing international pressure on both Israel and Hamas to reach a ceasefire agreement as the war has dragged several nations into the conflict and the casualties are continuously mounting. Meanwhile, the Hamas terrorist group's top officials had earlier signaled their will to give up arms if Jerusalem agreed that Palestinians get an independent state in territories captured by Israel during the 1967 war.